Everybody, good evening. How are you? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, great. Thank you. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, let's begin this class. I just good need evening, to... Teacher. Good evening. Thank you. Um, just need to open the attendance list so I can start calling it. And then everything will be ready. Just give me a second. It's loading now. All right, there it is. Okay. Here. Okay, just um, when you hear your name, please let me know. Okay, so that's that's the first thing. <clears throat> but first, I will start sharing screen. Here we go. And this. Oops, just a moment. Somebody's Bye. eating eating chips. <laughs> okay, ready. Okay, here we go. When you hear your name, please let me know. Alejandro Jose Quintanilla. Present teacher. Thank you. Alicia Guadalupe Hernandez. Alicia Guadalupe Hernández Romero. Ana Filomena Mendoza. Good evening, teacher present. Good evening. Ana Yanira Mendoza Godoy. Ana Yanira Mendoza Godoy. Andrea Geraldine Sánchez Racinos. Present, teacher. Thank you. Andrea Michelle García Selva. Present, teacher. Thank you. Blanca Marisol Vargas Esteves. Blanca Marisol Vargas Esteves. Boris Martín Salinas Quintanilla. Boris Martín Salinas Quintanilla. Selina Ivette Gutiérrez Osorio. Present. Thank you. Denis Isaías Gómez Rodas. Present. Thank you. Daisy Carolina Rodríguez Mejía. Present. Thank you. Eric Ernesto Linares Aguirre. Erika Maidel Antonio Flores. Erika Maidel Antonio Flores. Francisco Alberto Lemus Guzmán. Francisco Alberto Boris Guzmán. Ok, tengo un mensaje de Boris, dice que aquí está. Ok, muy bien. Francisco Alberto, no. Iris Regina Hernández Cuellar. Is here, teacher. Thank you. Jenny Elizabeth Santillana Cortés. Jenny Elizabeth Santillana Cortés. Jose Eraidín Enríquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Katia Graciela Juan de Candray. Present teacher. Good evening. Thank you. Good evening. Maritza Isabel Méndez Aguirre. Present teacher. Thank you. Miguel Ángel Quintanilla Tejada. Present, teacher. Thank you. Nadia Isolina Rodríguez Ramírez. Present, teacher. Thank you very much. Noemí Alicia Estrada de Valle. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ronald Antonio Luna López. Ronald Antonio Luna López. Saúl Antonio Hernández Torres. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, just uh, today we're going to have a visitor. Okay, um, one of the coordinators is going to visit us with a message. So just letting you know before we begin. Okay, I'm just going to call the names of those who didn't respond before. Alicia Guadalupe Hernández Romero. Are you here? Blanca says present. Okay, thank you, Blanca. Uh, Alicia Guadalupe, no? Anayanira Mendoza. I'm here, teacher. I'm present. Thank you. 
Um, Erika Maidel Antonio. Erika. Francisco Alberto Lemus. Francisco. He sent Alberto. a message. He sent a message on the on oh, WhatsApp. Oh really? Teacher. He sent a message. Ah, thank yes, you for letting yes. me know. Let's see. I can't see the message. Uh, he say, um, he, um, no llego a casa, estoy en el parte de tráfico. Ah, he's metalorious. <laughs> okay. Give me. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, um, okay, so that's. Uh... God bless you. Thank you. <laughs> that's Francisco Alberto. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to call the attendance again anyway at the end just to make sure that maybe he comes. So, um, Jenny Elizabeth. Jenny Elizabeth Santillana. No. Nope. Ronald Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay. All right. So, let's do this. Everybody, welcome. Once again, this is uh, Inglés Preavanzado, Modulo 1, and that's me, Ivan Doñana, your service. Once again, this is session number 12, okay? 12 out of 16. So, we have only one more week, and after that, we finish the level. And today is March the 16th of 2023, or 2023, and uh, here's what we're going to do. So, yesterday, we started studying the past perfect. So, as usual, we're going to have a review today and uh, we're going to do a series of exercises so we can practice this because we need some practice on this. Okay, past perfect is sometimes a little bit difficult to use. So a review. Again, right, past perfect. We study this sample situation, right? Paul and Sarah. At 10.30, Paul said, bye. Okay, and at 11, half an hour later, Sarah arrived and they say hi. So Sarah and Paul went to the same party last week but they didn't see each other. Paul left the party at 10.30 and Sarah arrived at 11 o'clock. So when Sarah arrived at the party, Paul wasn't there. He had gone home. Had gone is the past perfect. So what is the structure? Basically, you have to use had, and if it's negative, you use hadn't. And after that, you have to use a verb in past participle. That's the idea. Every time you use the past perfect, just like the present perfect, you have to use a verb in past participle, okay? So um, it's a good idea to study uh, past participles of irregular verbs because you, as you know, they don't follow the rules, so you need to memorize them. So another good thing about the past perfect is that it uses the same auxiliary for all subjects, okay? It doesn't have a special auxiliary for he, she, or it. So you say, I have, he had, we had, she had, they had, it had, you had. It's the same for all of them. So no special forms for he, she, it. So the past perfect simple is had plus the past participle, like gone, seen, finished, etc. Sometimes we talk about something that happened in the past. For example, Sarah arrived at the party. That's a complete action in the past. Therefore, we use uh, past simple. So this is the starting point of the story. This is the starting point. This is the, where the story begins. Then if we want to talk about things that happened before, okay, this time, then we use the past perfect. When Sarah arrived at the party, Paul had already gone home. So that means that, uh, well, you have past perfect right here, had gone home. This indicates that this action happened first. And after that, Sarah arrived. That's the idea. That's what we studied yesterday. So um, just looking at the comparison between the past perfect and the present perfect for us to understand a little bit better. We compare the present perfect, like have seen, etc., and the past perfect, like this. Both the present perfect and the past perfect refer to actions that happened or started before a specific moment. In the case of the present perfect, that specific moment is now, is the present. That's why it's called present perfect. In the case of past perfect, that moment is not now. It's a moment in the past or an action in the past. We talk about it right now, but we refer to something that happened before a specific moment in the past or a specific action in the past. So if you say present perfect, who is that woman? I have seen her before. 
but I can't remember where. When you say, I have seen her before, that means I have seen her before this moment. La he visto en alguna parte. So that means you have seen that person before this moment. Here, before now. But if you use past perfect, maybe you're telling a story. You say, I wasn't, you see in the past, I wasn't sure who she was. I had seen her before, but I couldn't remember where. Now, you're telling the story in the present, but you are referring to a moment in the past. And before that moment in the past, you had seen that woman. That's the idea. Second example, we are in Hungary. We have just had lunch. That means we had lunch before this moment. And the next example you have, we were in Hungary. No teníamos hambre. We had just had lunch. Recién habíamos almorzado. Before that moment, not before now, before that moment. We have a chat entry here. Erika, okay, Erika, thank you. Um, registering your attendance right here. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Good, evening. Well, Good evening. Welcome. Mm -hmm. We have another chat entry here. Um, no, <laughs> it's only one. Ah, Jenny, uh, I'm sorry I'm late, but for class, but I had a setback. Okay, no problem, Jenny. I'm registering your attendance right here. Welcome. Okay. All right. So uh, the next one, the house is dirty. They haven't cleaned it for weeks. That means they haven't cleaned it before this moment, before right now. But then you say the house was dirty in that moment. Okay. They hadn't cleaned it for weeks. No la habían limpiado en semanas. So that's pretty much the difference between present perfect and past perfect. Okay. One refers to actions that happened before this moment and past perfect refers to actions that happened before a moment in the past or an action in the past. So uh, nothing much to say right here. This is a review from the content we studied yesterday. But what really, really interests us is uh, past simple versus past perfect, because that's the focus of this lesson, past simple versus past perfect. So we compare the past simple, like left, was, etc., and the past perfect, like had left, had been, etc. I'm sorry, I'm pausing, but I just had a piece of chocolate cake, so I'm <laughs> I just had a very, very quick dinner before the class. So um, example, using past simple, was Tom there when you arrived? Maybe there was a party, right? So was Tom there when you arrived? You say, yes, but he left soon afterwards. So what do we have here? You arrived, past simple. He left, past simple. If both actions are in past simple, that means that this one happened first and this one happened second. First, you arrived. Then several minutes later, Tom left. Number one, you arrived. Number two, Tom left. But what happens if you use past perfect? Was Tom there when you arrived? So we have an action. You arrived. No, he had already left. Past perfect indicates that this happened before. So first, Tom left. And then you arrived. And then you said, hey, where's Tom? And they told you he left. Oh, I couldn't see him. So uh, second example, Kate wasn't at home when I phoned. She was at her mother's house. Kate had just got home when I phoned. Okay, that means that first she got home and then I phoned. She had been at her mother's house before this moment, okay? Some other examples include, when we got home last night, we found that somebody had broken into the apartment. Past perfect, this happened first. Somebody broke into the apartment, they stole the things, they left the mess. And then they left. And then maybe one, two hours later, we arrived home. And when we saw it, oh my God, what happened here? So when we got home last night, we found that somebody had broken into the apartment. Okay. Karen didn't come to the cinema with us because she had already seen the movie. That means first she saw the movie and then she decided not to go with the, uh, to the movies with us because she had already seen it. She said, I don't want to see the same movie again, okay? Next one, at first I thought I had done the right thing. 
Al principio creí que había hecho lo correcto. But I soon realized I had made a mistake. Pero pronto me di cuenta, antes de darme cuenta, ¿verdad? Que había cometido un error. So I soon realized that I had made a mistake. And the last one, the people sitting next to me on the plane were nervous. Why were they nervous? Because before that moment, they hadn't flown before. Well, I'm sorry. I was redundant when I said that. Before that moment, they hadn't flown. Okay. Now that sounds better. So um, that's the thing. So remember, past perfect indicates that this action happened first, happened before the other action or before a specific moment in the past. Ana Yanira. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I have a question. Sure. <laughs> because when you use um, already or just after have, mm -hmm. uh, is correct. If it's uh, uh, had left or had, uh, had seen mm -hmm. instead of she had already seen, for example. Yeah, okay. Use about the, the uh, already or, or just. The because thing is... I had, uh, um, uh -huh. transform or algo así, el, el, the verb. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, the thing is that already and just have two different meanings. Already means sooner than expected okay and uh, just means a few moments ago uh, teacher mm. my my doubt uh -huh. is about uh, why you don't use uh, had got mm -hmm. or had have seen you is instead use uh, uh, had just between just between had and got where That's is that uh, kate um, just got home when i found kate let's see uh -huh. had just got ah mm -hmm. had just come that means just a moment ago uh, but here is is is, is it the question because of the verb because got? why do you use in between had and got uh -huh. just okay i thought that mm -hmm. you you must to you you must use had got okay because these are adverbs as a structure mm -hmm. because if you say okay had got home just when i found mm -hmm. well uh important. for starters uh, we're going to change one thing here because I I took this from from a um, a British book. So this is this will be like British. Let's let's change it to a more American form. Gotten, <laughs> okay, or even better, arrived. Okay, that sounds better. So uh, the thing is, why use the adverb right between have and the main verb, which is yes, arrived? Yes. Okay, yes. okay. So the thing is. When you have present perfect or when you have the past perfect and you want to use an adverb, that's the position of the adverb. It usually comes between the auxiliary and the main verb. So if I have here, um, Kate had arrived, okay? Kate mm -hmm. had arrived, so that means that yeah. happened before. But if you add just, okay? And that's the right the, the position of it. You have to put it between the main uh sorry be, between the auxiliary and the main verb. Okay, you use just that means a few moments ago. That means very recently. Very recently, the same happens with already. Already has a different meaning, of course, which means sooner than expected. But then we have uh, she had already seen the movie. Okay, you can say she had seen the movie. Okay, if you want to add an adverb to it, you have to uh, place it between the auxiliary and the main verb. So it comes here already. So that's the rule. In yeah. some cases, like that's already, 
That's the That's rule. The rule. Okay. That's the rule. However, in, in some cases, like with already, you can use it at the end also. You can mm -hmm. say she had seen the movie already, but this is less common. It's possible, yeah. but less common. Normally, okay. you will have to place the adverb again between the auxiliary and the main verb. Mm -hmm. But right. I, I, I could, I could say the same mm -hmm. without already or not. Let me think. Yes, but when you say already, you make it more specific. This uh, is for like, example, teacher, uh -huh. excuse mm -hmm. me. No she problem. She has been at her mother's house. Mm -hmm. This yeah. is uh, mm -hmm. without already. Past because perfect. that's past perfect. But in this case, already is not necessary. Okay. Because that will that will change the meaning of it slightly. This is like imagine we said this in Spanish. Okay. You say Karen no quería, no, no, no fue con nosotros al cine porque ya había visto la película. So that already means ya. Es decir, la había visto antes de lo que nosotros pensábamos. Mm -hmm. Quizá la fue a ver de estreno. Okay, so that's the idea. You say Karen didn't come to the cinema with us because she had already seen the movie. Es, ya había visto la película. Mm -hmm. We all said, like, okay, okay, let's go watch the movie. It's this new movie that's uh, that's uh, showing right now. And then we say, okay, yeah, call... Juan, call Carlos, call Alberto, call Diana, and also call Karen's. And then you call Karen. Hey, Karen, do you want to see the movie with us? And Karen said, ah, what movie? Avatar 2, for example. And then Karen said, ah, no, no, I saw the movie last weekend. I don't want to see it, but you go, all right? Okay. So uh, the thing is, she had already seen the movie. Ya había visto la película. That's the meaning of it. Okay. So again, you cannot, you can say, you can omit it. She had seen the movie, okay. But if you say already, you you make it more specific. Ana Yanira. Okay, thank you. I know. Sorry, you're talking. <laughs> okay, so I saw the, the the. I'm sorry. I saw the hand up. Um, I got confused a little bit. What's me, teacher? <laughs> okay, Boris. Do you have a question? Yes, uh, mm -hmm. my question is about the, the topic that you are talking. I mm -hmm. think that it exists a, a kind of advert that means that intensifier the statement. I don't know. Uh, Intensifies. You want to say, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, like emphasize. just a right. Emphasize. Something Maybe. to emphasize it. Yeah, but uh, I don't remember, but I, I remember that someone saying me that that is an intensifier. Well, already, already. No, if, if you say, uh, mm. that is good, you can say uh, to, that is pretty good. Yeah. Uh huh. But that's different because uh, good is, is an adjective and pretty becomes an adverb. And those are different parts of speech. In this case, we're talking about a verb tense. Mm -hmm. So, um, no, as far as I'm concerned, no, there's nothing like an intensifier for past perfect. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're welcome. All right, uh, moving on. We did this exercise yesterday. We did it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, that's true. We did this exercise, so um, we're going to uh, move on to the next one. And for this, uh, you guys are going to be working in breakout rooms, okay? Because this exercise is a little bit more difficult, a little bit. So I want you to help each other. Your turn. Take a look at this. Use the sentences on the left to complete the paragraphs on the right. What are you going to do? These sentences are in the order in which they happen, in which they happen. There's a typo here. Okay, better. So A happened before B and B before C. This is the order. First, somebody broke into the office during the night. Second, we arrived at work in the morning. Third, we called the police. This is the exact order in which the events happened. Again, 
The first thing that happened, somebody broke into the office during the night. The second thing that happened, the next day, we arrived at work in the morning and we saw it. Oh my God. So the th next thing that occurred, we called the police. So what are you going to do? You need to retell the story, but you are going to begin your story. Your starting point is going to be the statement underlined. This is how you will begin. You have an example. You begin with this. We arrived at work in the morning. So on the right, we arrived at work in the morning and found that somebody had broken into the office during the night because we begin here. So somebody broke into the office during the night. This happened before, as you can see, this happened before. So you have to use past perfect. Somebody had broken into the office during the night. So what happened after the starting point, we call the police. If it happened after, you use past simple. So we called the police. Do you understand what you're going to do? Teacher, I don't uh -huh. understand the exercise. Don't worry, don't worry. I can Please explain it again. You. Please. No problem. I'm just going to make the cursor a little bit bigger. Okay, so <laughs> it looks bigger now. So let's take a look. Again, this is uh, on the on the left, okay? You have a story, let's say. And you have the events of the story. So there's event A, event B, and event C. And uh, this is exactly in the order the events occurred. So what happened? Somebody broke into the office during the night. That was last night. A thief, right? Broke into the office, stole some things, and left. After that, after that, we arrived at work in the morning. Okay. And then we saw it. Oh, my. After that, we call the police. So this is the order in which the events happen. But in the story that you have on the right, you have to retell this, you have to retell the events, but you are going to begin not with A, you're going to begin with the sentence underlined, which is we arrived at work in the morning. This is your starting point. Ahí es donde van a empezar. Esta, esta, digamos, línea subrayada. This is the story point. So what happened before we arrived at work in the morning? Before that, somebody broke into the office during the night. After that, we called the police. So because this is the story point, we say we arrived at work in the morning and found that somebody had broken into the office during the night. We use past perfect because this action, as you can see here, occurred before. That's why we use past perfect. So, and then you have called the police. Ah, this happened after, you know, the sentence on the line. We call the police. So if, it, if the action occurred before, use past perfect. If the action occurred after that moment or after that event, you use past simple. That's the thing. But remember, Every time you will begin your story with the sentence underlined. In number two, you will start with B. In number three, also you start with B. And in number four, you start with C. For this activity, okay, you're going to be working in small breakout rooms because it's a little bit more complex. So um, where is it? Where is it? Okay, right here. There's a lot of people connected today. Okay, we're going to make six breakout rooms. Okay, please yes, please, please share on WhatsApp, please. Ah, uh, yes, absolutely. I will actually, I'll do it now. Okay, let's see. There's so many windows open, sometimes it's difficult to find. Uh, uh, okay, there it is. I just sent it to you via WhatsApp, so you have access to it now. 
And these are the groups. Okay, let me show you. So room number one, I'm sorry, I know it looks really small, but room number one, we have Andrea Michel, Jenny Elizabeth, Maritza Isabel, and Nadia Isolina. Only ladies. Room number two, you have Selina Yvette, Dennis Isaías, Erika Maidel, and Miguel Angel. Room number three, Ana Filomena, Daisy Carolina, Jose Raivin, and Katia Graciela. Room four, only three people, Blanca Marisol, Noemi Alicia, and Saúl Antonio. Room five, Alejandro Quintanilla, Ana Yanira Mendoza, and Boris Martín. Five. In room five, okay, Alejandro, Ana Yanira, and Boris. And in room six, Andrea Geraldine, Iris Regina, and Ronald Antonio. So I'm going to open the breakout rooms now, and I want you to work on this. Remember, you're supposed to work together for this activity, okay? Por favor, no trabajen individualmente porque si no, no tiene sentido hacer el breakout room. Si no, lo resolvemos de una vez acá. No, la idea es que se comuniquen y que se ayuden entre ustedes. De acuerdo. Como si estuviéramos en un salón de clase y les dijera, ah, en grupitos, ¿verdad? Es lo mismo, solo que de manera virtual. So let's do it. I'm going to open the breakout room. Please join your room and uh, I'll be visiting each of them in a few moments. Let's do it. Everybody, please join your breakout room now. Okay, uh, Dennis, Blanca, Ronald. I need Good you evening. To, hi, I need you to join the breakout rooms, please. Thank you. Ronald, you are in room six, and Dennis, room two. The I went to Laura House in this I, morning, but I, the but this sentence, I, I, I think there was no answer. Heard about doorbell. Oh, okay. This part it the is this in the the sentences in the second line. Mm -hmm. Okay, so but you be you begin with event B, which is mm -hmm. I rang her door. Mm -hmm. So I, I went to Laura's mm -hmm. house in the morning mm -hmm. and rang her doorbell. Ding dong. Okay. But and then you have no answer. So if you notice that happened after that, if it happened after that, what do you use? Past perfect or past simple? But the uh, past simple. It is past <laughs> simple. Past simple because it happened mm -hmm. after, right? So you say, but. Laura went out. Uh -huh. There was no answer. There was no there, answer. Just like that. There wasn't. There wasn't. There was no answer. We cannot no. say there there wasn't because after that you have the word no. So if you say there wasn't okay. no answer is double, double negative. Okay. So okay, okay but why not? Porque no porque no contestó nadie. <laughs> because Laura went out. Uh -huh. Okay, but that happened before. 
you rang her doorbell. So? I, I don't understand. You have to use past perfect. You have to use past perfect. So, Laura, she, uh -huh. she, mm -hmm. she went, she, no. She went is past simple. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She had. She, she had. She had. She had out oh. in this morning. She had, uh, you're she forgetting had... the verb in past participle. Teacher. Yes. Maybe I was getting. Oh, no. She was working. Maybe she was working, yeah. However, um, you need to use the same sentence, which is Laura went, <laughs> sorry, um, Laura went out this morning, but it's in past simple here. You need to express it in past perfect. Gone. Uh -huh, so, gone out. But you're forgetting the auxiliary now. Had, had gone. Had gone. Had gone. gone. Okay, had gone out. Pero para no decir Laura otra vez. She, she hey. had uh -huh, gone. She had gone out. Mm -hmm, correct. Okay. <laughs> That's the idea. Uh -huh. Entonces, ¿cómo nos quedaría? Como ya sabemos. <laughs> primero, ¿qué pasó? Primero, Laura went out. Primero se fue ella. Luego yo llegué a la casa y toqué el timbre. I rang her doorbell. Y luego, ¿qué pasó? Nadie me contestó. Como que es una canción. Entonces, eh, ¿cuál es la historia? Ustedes van a partir desde la B, que es el punto inicial. I rang her doorbell. Rang y como pueden door. ver ahí, ¿verdad? Dice, I went to Laura's house this morning and... I rang her, rang her doorbell. But, ¿y qué pasó? Pues, no answer. Ah, eso es lo que ocurrió después. Por lo tanto, past simple. There was no answer. ¿Pero por qué? ¿Por qué nadie me contestó? Porque resultó que Laura había salido. Había salido antes que yo llegara. Así que, past perfect. She had she gone had, out. She had gone out. Uh -huh. Esa es la okay. idea. Okay, teacher. Uh -huh. I went to Laura's house this morning. Mm -hmm. And run her doorbell. And run her doorbell. But uh, uh, there was no answer. There was no answer. Mm -hmm. There was. She, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. she had gone out. There was no answer. Okay. Uh, there was no answer. She had gone out. Okay. She had gone out. Mm -hmm. There was no she answer, period. Had, right? She she had, had, ahí faltaría she un punto, had, ¿verdad? Period. Antes de point. she, a period, un puntito ahí para, para separar las dos ideas. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So she had gone out. Gone out. Mm -hmm. She okay. had gone out. That's the thing. Now, using that, okay, I want you to do number three and number four. I have to visit the other okay. rooms. <laughs> okay, thank okay. you, teacher. Thanks. Okay, you're welcome. See you later. Bye. Teacher, hi. We have a problem, teacher. <laughs> what is the problem? Yeah, because I don't understand the structure, the sentences. Okay. Uh, for example, I went to Laura house this morning and mm. ran and rang her doorbell, but she mm. no answer. There was no answer. You rang the doorbell. Ding uh -huh. dong, ding dong. Uh -huh. But there was no answer. You waited there. Uh, but there. There are no answer. There was no answer. No, ah, hubo, no hubo respuesta. Ah, no hubo respuesta. Ah, okay. como, como, como dice la canción, ¿verdad? yo toqué uh -huh. y llamé y nadie me contestó. Uh -huh. Ok, uh -huh. pues algo así. So, uh -huh. um, uh -huh. so, um, um, no answer en, en, 
Laura went out. No. Ajá, but that happened before. Vaya, si nos fijamos aquí, ¿qué aparece? Este es el orden exacto en que sucedieron las cosas. Lo primero, uh -huh. Laura went out this morning. Eso es lo primero. Uh -huh. Ella salió, se fue. After that, okay. number two, I rang her doorbell. Llegué yo a la casa y toqué el timbre. Uh -huh. Y después de que toqué el timbre, let her see. No there was respondió. no answer. No, no, no hubo respuesta porque no había nadie. Entonces, Eso sería, there was, there was no answer. There was no answer. Así es, oh, okay. porque en nuestro punto inicial es letter B. Cuando dice, I rang her doorbell. Ahí uh -huh. decimos, I went to Laura's house this morning and rang her doorbell. But, y como lo que sigue was, es lo que uh -huh. sucedió después, vamos a ocupar para simple. There was no answer. Pero There ¿por qué no, no hubo respuesta? Porque Laura había salido. Uh, uh -huh. ¿Quién me iba a contestar si no había nadie en la casa? Entonces, she... She had she gone, had gone, she had out. gone out. She out. O sea, no había nadie. Uh -huh. Ella no estaba. No estaba. Ahora vemos que... Nos vamos a referir al letter A, que es Laura went out this morning. Eso es lo que pasó antes que yo llegara y tocara el timbre. Por lo tanto, ahí vamos a ocupar past perfect. She had gone she out. She had. Ajá. She had gone out. Gone, el de past de went. Uh, the no. past participle of past go. Past participle, ajá. Mm -hmm. The past participle uh -huh. of go. She's gone, She's gone out, mm -hmm. ya, yeah, okay. She had gone out. Ella había salido. Ajá. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, it's difficult. <laughs> I know, I know, but that's why you're working together. That's the idea. I know it's difficult, but you know, <laughs> that's why I want you to work together so you can think together and you can help each other. Okay, okay. I have to visit some other breakout room, so I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, please continue. Okay. He got a phone call from her. And from, from Amy. Tell her James. From uh, uh, Yesterday, James got a phone call from Amy. Mm. Mm. I think we just have to add that have part. Gone. No, because it doesn't have sense for me. Mm. Ayer, James había recibido. Mm -mm. Recibió. Mm -hmm. Recibió. Recibió. Uh -huh. No, if, if we just, uh, if we add, uh, had, had, mm -hmm. Got uh, doesn't mm -hmm. have sense for me. Ah, doesn't make sense. Ah, uh -huh, exactly because this is the starting point of the story. Mm -hmm. So we use past simple. El punto, uh -huh. in, el punto inicial de la historia va a ir en past simple y todo lo que haya sucedido después de ese momento también en past simple. Todo lo que haya sucedido antes de ese punto inicial va a ir en past perfect. Past okay, so in this case, is yesterday James got a phone call from. Uh -huh. Amy, mm -hmm. he got sur he got surprised. Not he oh, got. He was. He was. He was, mm -hmm. he was surprised. Surprised. Mm -hmm. From her. He was surprised. He was surprised. James mm -hmm. had sent. Sent. sent in had sent mm -hmm. a lot of emails. Had sent, that is correct. Had sent Amy a lot Amy. of emails, uh -huh. but he, but she never replied uh, to them. But that's also, that's also before the initial point. So you have to use past perfect too. Uh, had, um, 
She never reply to them. Ella nunca le responde. Nunca le respondió. Ah, you but can this use, is, this can, is something that happened after the after sending emails. Yes, but, not before. Uh -huh. But it's but it happened before the starting point of the story, which is yesterday he got a phone call from her. Difficult. It's because I'm moving the screen. Very difficult ah. to see to see one part and the other part, and I'm getting confused. Ah, uh, yeah, I know, I know. Okay. You're okay, like Baba. Dividing right. your attention between two screens. Okay. So, um, la cuestión es esta. Vaya, fíjense. Nuestro punto de partida para el ejercicio siempre es la parte que está subrayada y en negrita. Okay. Entonces, mm -hmm. esa es la acción. La, En realidad, todo sucedió en el orden que aparece A, B, C, D. ¿Qué fue lo primero? James sent Amy lots of emails. Después mm -hmm. de eso, she never replied to them. Nunca le contestó. ¿Qué pasó después? Yesterday, he got a phone call from her. Y cuando recibió la llamada, ¿cómo se sintió? Ah, Amy. Ok, he was surprised. surprised. Este es el orden exacto en que sucedió. Pero al momento de contar la historia, vamos a partir de... Letter C, que es, yesterday he got a phone call from her. Entonces mm -hmm. sería, yesterday James got, got phone a call phone call from Amy. Mm -hmm. Ahora, ¿qué vemos? He Justo got surprised. Después de eso, uh -huh. he, was he was surprised. surprised. Well, he... Ahora, he was surprised. As ocupamos past simple porque fue después que recibió la llamada. Ahora mm -hmm. vamos a hablar de todo lo que sucedió antes de la llamada telefónica. Antes de so la we... llamada telefónica, eh, James había mandado un montón de correos y ella no le había contestado. Entonces, decimos, he... In this case, because we are telling a story, we can add, because... You can say he that. Has sent, he, has... Because he has sent mm -hmm. her a lot of emails, but mm -hmm. she never... Re she had never replied to them. She had never replied mm -hmm. to them. Or simply, she hadn't replied to them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, now thing. I understand it. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, please continue. Well, I think you finished, okay? But I need to uh, go and check on some other rooms. Uh, give me, I'll be back, okay? Yesterday. Oh. Mm. When he had gone. When. Now let me see. Let me see. Oh, yesterday, he he got a phone call from her. Mm -hmm. uh, yesterday. So yesterday, James. Yesterday, James. Got uh had, had got no because that's the initial point of the story oh, so we yeah. use past simple mm -hmm. okay got a, a phone call got from a phone call. Amy so yesterday James got a phone call sorry got a phone call got from phone Amy call from from Amy okay uh huh got a phone mm. he was surprised. He was surprised, correct. Now you're going to talk about everything that happened before the phone call. That means now you need to use what? Yesterday, James. He has gone surprised. Yeah. Uh, no, because no, surprise. That happened after. Surprise that. Is, is in past, in past, in simple past, right? Simple past, uh huh. And because it happened after that, you have to use simple past. But she never replied to them. Uh, she never had replied to them. Okay, but okay, let, let's let's take this uh, little by little. Yesterday, James got a phone call, sorry, a phone call from Amy. Yeah, he yes. was surprised. Okay. Was surprised. And now let's talk about the things that happened before. Okay. Uh, mm. uh, yesterday, James. 
James had sent Amy a lot of emails. Mm -hmm. Had sent. Had sent, because that occurred before the beginning of the story. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but. But. Had sent lots of emails. Had sent lots of emails. Uh -huh. She, she, ne she mm -hmm. never replied to them. But if you say she never replied to them, that's past simple. Remember? Okay, Remember? she had never. She had she never had, replied to them. Or she hadn't replied to them. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's she right. Right. Así es. El punto de partida um, es letter C. He was C. surprised. Uh -huh. quite... He was surprised. He had mm -hmm. sent her lots of emails, but she hadn't replied to them. Él había mandado muchos correos, pero ella no le había contestado. Como estas dos acciones sucedieron antes del punto de partida, que fue el letter C, yesterday he got a phone call from her, ¿verdad? Vamos a expresarlas en past perfect. Y la otra que es he was surprised, como sucedió después del punto de partida, que era el letter C, la vamos a expresar en past simple. Mm -hmm. In the last part, teacher. The last part. The last part of mm -hmm. the... We say, okay, yesterday James uh, got a phone call from Amy. He was surprised. He had sent her lots of emails, but she hadn't replied to them. Um, at, mm -hmm. the beginning, at the beginning, he got a phone call from her. That's, that's the starting oh. point of the story. He got a phone call. Then okay. he was surprised. And then now we're talking about the things that occurred before, several days before, maybe. He had sent her lots of emails, but she hadn't replied to them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I need to visit one more break of room. I'll be back. Okay. okay. No. Hi, teacher. Hi, hi, Iris. <laughs> I understand that very well. Estamos ahogando. So... <laughs> Don't worry. I'm here to help you. Okay. Ajá. ¿En qué, qué estamos? ¿En qué nos hemos quedado atorados? Sí, teacher. Como solo estamos con Ronald, Andrea no, Andrea no sé qué se hizo. Quedó dormido. Yeah. <laughs> y que sé que en la segunda no nos pega porque, claro, okay. Okay. I'm your job after. Uh, I meet Joe a, I meet Joe a I, few days ago. A few day. I, I met Joe a few days ago. Vaya. Uh -huh. Solo veamos acá la explicación, ¿verdad? Acuérdense uh -huh. que en, a la izquierda les va a aparecer a ustedes la historia exactamente en el orden en que sucedió. Quiere decir que lo primero que pasó fue, hey, Joe came back from vacations a few days ago. Eso fue lo primero. Él volvió. Después de eso, I met him the same day. El mismo día que volvió, me lo encontré, right? O oh, nos encontramos ese día. Tal vez lo habíamos acordado. And then he looked very well. Se miraba muy bien, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Así que, ¿de dónde vamos a partir? Vamos a partir del segundo evento. Come back. Ah, sí. Del segundo, porque ese es el que está subrayado. Uh -huh. De ahí vamos a partir. Ese es el inicio de la historia que vamos a contar. Y si ustedes se fijan, ya en el párrafo que aparece a la derecha... Ahí empieza. I met Joe a few days ago. Ahora, okay. dice just vacation. ¿Qué sería? ¿Letter A o letter C? Eh, pero en ya, sería ya... el C, entonces. Mm -mm, no. Porque lo conoció y se miraba. Ah, lo no, pero más lo abajo. Encontró, dice, eh. lo encontró, uh -huh. lo, se encontró con él. Eso es. Uh -huh. met. Entonces, eh, acá. Sería aquí, el E. El... Sería el letter A, así es. Uh -huh. ¿Eso sucedió, sucedió antes o sucedió después de encontrármelo? Eh, Las vacaciones antes. fueron primero. Uh -huh. Así es, sucedió antes. Uh -huh. Por lo uh -huh. tanto, vamos a ocupar past perfect. Esa es la idea. Come back. Come back. He just, no, tendría que ser he, past perfect. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He. Hi, teacher. Past perfect. 
That's perfect. Así es. Gusto de regreso. ¿Qué, qué, ¿Qué auxiliar ocupamos con el Past Perfect? Verbo ah, con... el had. Had, así es. Had, Entonces, had. he had. Uh -huh. He had. Uh -huh. He had just. Come. Come. The past participle of come is come. So he had just come back from vacation. It's the same. Uh huh. Yeah, because in, in base form is come, the past form is came, and the past participle is come again. Uh -huh. It's the same. Same spelling. Okay. He has come back just. He, he had just come back from vacation. Uh -huh. And then, ahora vamos a hablar de lo otro. He looked very well. Se, se veía muy bien, como que la vio, ah, la pasó pues, bien, vino más gordito, este... uh, más chapudo. Entonces, Aquí es... sería el mismo el, el pasado simple. Uh, simple, así es, porque looked. eso pasó, eso sucedió después que me lo encontré o después que me reuní mm -hmm. con él. Entonces, ah, okay. he, look, look. he looked mm -hmm. very well. Ok. Con mm -hmm. ED, ¿eh? ED, he looked very well. Mm -hmm. Ah, ok. Si sí, eso de complicado de saber antes y todo eso es lo... Uh -huh. Pero aquí está la clave, ¿verdad? A la izquierda pueden ver. Eh, la parte negrito, subrayado el núcleo, es el núcleo. Ahí es donde comienza la historia. Todo lo que está arriba es lo que pasó antes. Todo lo que está abajo es lo que pasó después. Así que todo lo que ah, está okay. arriba va a ir en past perfect. Todo lo que está abajo va a ir en past simple. Yeah. Esa es la clave. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Se Thank nos you, acaba el tiempo. <ríe> Así que sí. igual que Ay, vamos sí, a cerrar que los... Sí, okay. cabal. Vamos a cerrar los breakout rooms porque necesitamos revisar esto. No, si okay. por mí fuera, yo okay. me quedara una media hora más, pero sé que es a medio mundo porque ya tiene sueño. Así que que, <laughs> vamos a revisar el ejercicio. Ok. okay. Thank, you. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Ok, everybody, I'm going to close the breakout rooms. Um, you will have one minute to go back to the main meeting. Fifty seconds. Sure. Five seconds. Yes. Uh, I was around here uh, around half half meeting. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh well. Sorry. Yeah, I saw that 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 some of you had a little difficulty getting into the breakout rooms. Um. Well, but did you work on the exercise on your own? Uh, kind of. Actually, uh, uh, actually, I I did not. Okay. All right. Uh, th thanks for your honesty. <laughs> Five seconds. I think almost everybody's here. Okay. One second. Okay. Everybody's back. I'm going to share the screen again, and we're going to uh, check the answers. Everybody, take a look. So. Again, we have we arrived at work in the morning and found that somebody had broken into the office during the night, so we called the police. So number two, Laura went out this morning. After that, I rang her doorbell and then there was no answer. So I need a volunteer to read the second paragraph. Who can help me? Me, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, well, um, Jenny, Elizabeth, then Nadia. Okay, so. Um... Okay. I went to I, I read the first part. Um okay, okay. I went to Laura's house this morning and rang her bell, but there was no answer. There there was no answer. Okay, correct. And Jenny, what about the other one? Uh, the number three. Uh, no, number two, but the second one in number two. This oh, no, the, no, she had gone out. She had gone out. Okay, that is correct. She had gone out. Very good. Thank you. What about number three? I need a volunteer, please. Who wants to participate? Number three. 
Alejandro Quintanilla, just before that, just give me a second. I need to send a very, very, very important message. Uh, just a moment, just a very quick moment. Oy, oy, oy. This is an emergency. <laughs> just a second. Oh, where is it? Just a second. Okay, here. All right. So let's check Alejandro Quintanilla and then Maritza Isabel. So number three. Okay. I met yours. No, I met Joe a few mm -hmm. days ago mm -hmm. when he had just come back from vacation. He had just come back from vacation. Uh huh. Yeah. Good. Then, um, Maritza, can you help us complete the second part? He looked very well. He looked very well. Correct. Past simple. Good. Thank you, Alejandro and Maritza. Very good. What about number four? Teacher, I'm sorry. I thought it was he had just came back. Ah, uh, no, because came is the past form, not the past participle. In the case of the verb come, it goes like this. Base form, come. Past form, came. Past participle, come. And because we use the past participle, it's come. come ah, okay, came, come. thank you, teacher. And it's also similar to this. Become, oops. Became. Become. Mm -hmm. Come, came, come, become, became, become. Same story. Okay. Also, overcome, overcame, overcome. Que es como superar. Un obstáculo, por ejemplo, o una dificultad. Overcome, overcame, overcome. Okay, um, the last one. I need a volunteer or two to help me with this. Who can help me? Raise your hand, please. Jose. Okay, Jose. Uh, yesterday, James got a phone call from Amy. Okay. Uh, may I continue? Um, okay, you give me the second one and then Boris will help me with the rest. Uh, he was surprised. He was surprised. Okay, Boris wanted to participate. Okay. Uh, he, ha he has sent a lot of email. He had sent her lots of emails, but? But uh, she hadn't replied to them. She hadn't replied to them, okay? Or she had never replied to them, okay? Very good. Okay. Um, Quiero darles aquí una notificación. Creo que iba a entrar alguien, pero probablemente entraron cuando estábamos en los breakout rooms, así que creo que ahí no, no podían hacer nada. Um, un pequeño mensaje únicamente. Aquí se lo voy a leer tal cual. Nos pidieron apoyo a nosotros para, para comunicarles lo siguiente. Nos dijeron, ¿verdad? El motivo del presente es para solicitar su apoyo, ya que por procesos administrativos este día... Se les estará notificando a los participantes que finalicen la plataforma de aprendizaje entre ahora jueves hasta el lunes 20 de marzo. Bueno, ahora estoy hablando yo, ¿verdad? No sé exactamente cómo funciona, pero sí al parecer urge que terminen las actividades por algún proceso administrativo a más tardar el día lunes. Es decir, habrá que cubrir todas las secciones, que sería la 1, la 2, 3, la 4, y la 5, que todavía falta la otra semana, eh, necesitaríamos que completaran todos los ejercicios en la plataforma a más tardar el día lunes. Así que mi consejo es denle un vistazo a eso, ¿verdad? Y durante el fin de semana tal vez nos podemos poner ahí las pilas para trabajar en ello. Entonces dice acá, sigo, continúo leyendo. Esto debido a un control interno, por lo cual les pedimos que motiven a los participantes desde la clase de ahora a que empiecen a terminar sus plataformas desde ya. 
eh, no los limiten a que solo trabajen uno o dos ejercicios diarios, ¿verdad? Motívenos a que finalicen lo más pronto posible. El mensaje va dirigido para los siguientes facilitadores y ahí estoy yo entre ellos. Así que eh, eso sería, ¿verdad? Que procuren terminar todos los ejercicios de la plataforma para el lunes a más tardar, porque al parecer por procesos internos se necesita que eso ya esté completo. Ok, y de nuevo, al parecer creo que iba a entrar uno de los encargados a, a notificarles, pero me imagino que in intentó ingresar en el momento en que estábamos en el breakout room, entonces no podíamos hacer mucho ahí. Ok, um, esos serían los avisos. <ríe> All right. Thank you, teacher. Ok, okay. Thank, thank you, teacher. teacher. Okay, everybody, thank you very much. Thanks for your participation and uh, for being here. And uh, I will see you on Monday. Okay, remember, no class tomorrow. Okay, so see you on Monday. Take good care. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Ah, sorry, uh, before we go, um, Francisco Alberto, is Francisco here? <laughs> Francisco, creo que no se conectó al final, ¿verdad? Envió un mensaje, dijo que había, no había podido salir del tráfico. Ajá, es cierto. Ajá. Alicia Guadalupe. Alicia, creo que tampoco. <risa> o oh, sí. <risa> Francisco es. Mm. Ok. Vamos entonces. <risa> Okay, everybody, thank you very much. Oh, see. Good night. <laughs> Bye, Bye, teacher. Good night, teacher. Take care. Good night.